I remember reading a parole report once and the parole officer stated that I was a hopeless dope fiend. And I believed that and I didn't think there was any way out for me. When I was seven or eight years old and uh, my parents bought their first home and we used to have a bus that would come pull up in front of the house uh, every Sunday and run us to Sunday school. That's when I gave my, uh, my heart to Jesus and, and it wasn't long after that, that that things took a turn. I was 12 years old and I decided I was gonna hang out uh, with some older kids and little did I know uh, these guys were going to smoke some marijuana. And I remember when I took that first hit, my life went up in that cloud of smoke. I was introduced to heroin. So at 16 years old, I became a full-blown uh, heroin addict. My life spiraled after that. Heroin became the most important thing to me and before I knew it, I was in and out of jail, in and out of prison. Everything was in chaos. Eventually, I had, uh, I had some children, four kids, and uh, I had nothing to do with my kids. I destroyed uh, every relationship. Uh, I alienated myself from my family, and that lasted for the next 37 years of my life. I was hurt, I was angry, and I didn't know where to turn. But during those years, uh, my mom, my faithful mom, she continued to pray for me. I have this cousin, and in the early 2000s, she went through Teen Challenge. She would always tell me that Jesus loved me and that I needed to go to Teen Challenge. She gave me a number of the induction center in San Diego, and I called down there and I spoke to uh, one of the advisors. He said if I could be there the next day, uh, that I could come into the program. I walked in there and I literally felt the Holy Spirit, and I just felt that peace, and I knew I was in the right place. working alongside men that, have, that just come right off the streets, right out of addiction. Uh, I look forward to going to work. I love my job. And I, I, and I just hope to be an encouragement every day. The restoration that's taken place within my family is beyond words. Uh, to be able to share after all these years, those hurts and those pains and uh, all the trauma of not having me around, it, they've begun to heal. And now I'm uh, their dad. I'm their dad, I love them. They know that, that I love them and they love me. And my mom's heart is healing. Uh, she actually looks forward to seeing me. She's happy when I come over. And the greatest blessing of uh, having been restored to my family are my grandchildren. They didn't have to see me uh, at my worst. Uh, they got to see a different grandpa. And for me, that's the greatest blessing. And what I do today is I make sure that I reach out to my family every single day, every morning. Uh, as soon as my mom wakes up, I make sure that mine's the first message that she, she sees. Uh, I'm not an absent father anymore. The shame is gone. Uh, the guilt is gone. I'm able to look them square in the eyes and say, I love you. And it's God who did that. His word says, I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. And he's, he's definitely done that in my life. And I believe he's doing that in all my family's lives as well.